I'm blaming all of this on y'all who can't stop asking for a new Willy's Wonderland update. You were getting one every other week, weren't you? But you just had to be greedy. Now look what you went ahead and did. Hey Willy's Wonderland fans, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. Yes, we have here another update on Willy's Wonderland, the horror movie we've all been looking forward to, starring Nicolas Cage, who plays a janitor at an amusement park, getting attacked by a gang of evil animatronic puppets. I'm gonna be breaking down the latest update concerning Willy's Wonderland, but I'm gonna need you Willy fans to let me know your opinions down below. How do you feel about this news? Try and look at the bright side. 2020 has just been a year filled with horrible news, so this can just get added onto that list. But as well, don't forget to demolish that like button, especially if you want more Willy's Wonderland content in your life, because delay or not, I'll find a way to make more content. Te don't test me. All right, so the latest update concerning Willy's Wonderland is brought to us here from the writer of the movie, Geo Parsons, on Twitter. He's been really good about answering fan questions concerning Willy's Wonderland, as always willing to give a few little tidbits here and there, as long as they don't ruin the movie for you. And yesterday, randomly, he went ahead and decided to let us know what the status of the film is, because we're all wondering. I get asked about it almost every day. Where's the trailer at? When is this movie being released? Some people think I'm making up this whole thing, and this movie doesn't even exist. Like... Y'all really think I have the mad Photoshop skills to make some leaked Nicolas Cage photos of him in Willy's Wonderland shirts? Or just some furry looking costumes of a weasel that I can just take a picture of with a kid? Alright, one of those might be true, but I was, uh... But back to the announcement that the writer decided to make about the movie, he went ahead and said, Willy's Wonderland is looking to be a TBD, meaning to be dated, 2021 release. COVID disruption slowed post-theater availability. Trailer will likely be held until a firm date is set. Because of you, the fans, the kind and cool people reading this, getting the word out, and hyping Willy, the janitor, and the rest of the gang, Willy's Wonderland is punching above its weight class, fixing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with great horror icons. That's a chance few are afforded, and Willy can't let you down. Everything trailer slash release day animatronics have to be perfect because we're the underdog and we're only going to get one shot at cinema immortality. I appreciate your patience, your support and enthusiasm. I'm grateful for you. Please keep it up. With everything that's been happening in the movie industry this last half of 2020, it's kind of no surprise to me at all that we will just not be getting Willy's Wonderland coming to theater or even VOD. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are like, okay, so what if it doesn't have a release date? They can still drop a trailer for us. We want to see what this movie looks like. Something else that was confirmed about Willy's Wonderland that wasn't really known at the time is that we got the budget of how big this movie is actually going to be. Because even though we as Willy's Wonderland fans have been hyping this movie, up really looking forward to it we have to remember we're just the fans who all of a sudden found this movie that sounded like a great idea and are now hyping it beyond our expectations when this was gonna be just a small little horror movie that was gonna probably fly under the radar have a little people here talking about it because the writer of Willy's Wonderland Geo Parson went ahead and confirmed that the budget for this movie is only about five million dollars and if you don't know too much about Hollywood that's actually a really small modest budget for this type of film to give you an idea of where that stands the Child's Play reboot that I really enjoyed only had a budget of about $9 million. And a movie like The Invisible Man that came out earlier this year, that only had a budget of about $10 million. With a budget that small, I'm actually really surprised they didn't go ahead and just drop it on VOD regardless of the quality of the movie. Because you know I've been telling you guys, it looks like recently the movies that they drop just on VOD and don't wait for it to hit theaters is because they don't have a lot of confidence in the film. If they're holding out their hope that they can release it in the theater it's because they know they can pack that house people will enjoy it continue to come back tell their friends and it will earn way more money in theaters than it could have on VOD this year with the Halloween season not really having any big horror movie for us to check out I mean honestly the biggest horror movie coming to us in 2020 is gonna be a Netflix original titled Hoobie Halloween where it's a Netflix Adam Sandler comedy in the Halloween season and we know how that gonna go. So it kind of really is our fault right here of being so damn excited for this movie because it's shown the studio that there's a big audience willing to pay for this film. I mean, this was just something that when I first heard about it, I was like, I'll just make a random video about it. To now, like I always say, Willy's Wonderland is like the number one requested movie that I always get asked about to make a video on or to give an update on just because you guys are so looking forward to it. There's even a lot of fan art that gets made for this movie. You guys know I also recently started 
started a cringy little TikTok on my spare time, and guess which TikTok has the most views out of anything I've ever done on that platform? It was one of me just talking about Willy's Wonderland, and it's my highest viewed video, just because if you tell anybody the basic premise of this film, show them a couple of photos that have leaked, people would be willing to buy a ticket that very moment. And don't even get me started on the tons of nine-year-olds who hit my DMs going, let me see some Willy. Oh, good. Chris Hansen's gonna be knocking at my door, guys. Make sure you add Wonderland to that sentence. We gotta be grateful as Willy Wonderland fans that we're even getting these kinds of updates, that we're being told what the status of the movie is and where we're headed. And just because the film isn't coming out this year in 2020 and it looks to be released sometime in 2021, doesn't mean we won't get a new trailer or a new poster for this film. We know they have some sort of trailer finished because we've seen a lot of leaked photos from this trailer and even small amounts of footage from the trailer that I covered in a previous video. The director seemed to be big on wanting to release the trailer on a holiday, at least that was his plan with July 4th. It looks like that's when he wanted to release a trailer before it just looked like movie theaters were not going to be open in time for them to actually release Willy's Wonderland. Halloween time would be a great time to drop a trailer for this horror movie, if not Christmas would be a great little present. It all depends on when they decide to actually give Willy's Wonderland a release date. But at the moment, this is all we have for Willy's Wonderland and it's going to be a little silent for a while. You know me, I'll do my best to do my digging and find little updates here and there but i just can't wait to flush 2020 down the toilet and get started with 2021 because that is going to be the hyping year willie's wonderland the batman ghostbusters afterlife so many glorious films headed our way so i'm gonna leave it off to you guys how do you feel about this willie's wonderland update do you understand the delays what do you think should be released before the year's end a new poster a new trailer us fans will really be willing to take anything we can get at this point be sure to subscribe for more movie related content follow me on twitter at 3C Film Reviews. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.